have a quick pause, Sid. Hello there, and we are live with the Ultimate Team Tournament. I'm here in the south today. We've got Momo for show and Love Nest, a fearsome duo if there are, I ever saw one before. Who have we got in the north there, Sidolio? We've got Stark and Sully. So Stark is together, really experienced TV2 team. I, I can't believe what I'm saying. I'm saying double. I'm saying double OKW and double Stern Pioneers for Sully. That's a very aggressive opening. Yeah. So Rowdy last game went for the cutoff house and Theo went for the fuel house. This time Momo went for his cutoff and uh, Sully's just gone straight to the fuel house. So that's gone badly for South both times. It really has. So Momo for show, of course, our USF player today. He's a very decent USF player, of course. Great. So it's much like a love nest going, sending his first conscript south. So it looks like both teams are going to kind of not sure. the same side. It's interesting, though. He's yeah, managed to kite all the way around with these conscripts, love nest. Has he managed to evade the sight, possibly, of the stern pioneers? He has. He done, oh, yeah. my God. What oh, play wait, by love nest. Look at that. Holy crap, That's he used the entire level. fog Wait, of war. Get, he's not going to get in. Oh, no! Get in, oh, I thought oh, that was going to be one of the oh, coolest man. things I've ever seen. That so good as well. Wow. Oh, man. Almost, Stefan. I, I hope to God that's that what he was been, going that for. That would have been such a good play, actually. But, uh, but just, like, I think that's one to remember for, for your own games there, Sid. If you go above that log pile, you evade the uh, yeah, sightline. Sight yeah. That's pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's have a focus on the center there. Stark's getting very Larry with the folks currently. He's pushing in, pushing up. And um, looks like Momo and Love Nest have been momentarily contained. Yeah, they're not on the resources. They're not on the VPs. I think this is to be expected, uh, the double OKW, because you have, I mean, how many stun pies are there in this game now? Three? So yeah. Not many good engagements you can get with conscripts and rifle Oh god, could you imagine Loveness snipers though? If, if he were to go snipers on this one. Oh, he has tier two. Oh, he has gone tier two. But this if he's gone snipers, sniper. he could have brutalized them, couldn't he? This is a pretty bad map for your snipers though, because you don't have really good sight lines. It's quite easy to get a uh, squad moving around. Behind you. Look at the tank map now. We've got barely. We've got. Three territories for these allies in the south. Doing too well then. Yeah. The VP tech's always super, super relevant. We're already down to like 450, two minutes in. Yeah, we're for sure lucky not to lose any models there. He was on negative cover against Virtual Radius. Stern Pioneer's poking in, just noticing the Maxim. Elsewhere in the south, Conscripts. Uh, Salute. Oh. Has just planted an early mine as well. Uh, Still must going back for his fuel. Oh, Lovness is going to lose the fuel again, that sucks. Maybe goes for him. Okay, yeah, they're in a really hard time here. They really are, they've been pushed so aggressively, Stark and Sully. And it's just been possibly superior play by the OKW players in this case. They've been so aggressive, they've gone for a ballsy double OK, uh, double stern pioneer opening. And it's really made usage of this, uh, as Sid rightfully says, very, you know, Avenue and channeled map, so it's worked well. It's like Love Nest is gonna put fuel on the right potentially if that vault doesn't stop him. So I can get some of the resources back there. Uh, well, very real denied. fear that OKW OKW is really good at getting ahead and then just staying ahead when it gets light vehicles out uh, and closing a game out really quickly. Absolutely, it's uh, prone to snowballing and uh, the worst possible way becoming an avalanche for the allies here, possibly. Um, just now Lunas getting... has, gone. yeah, already gone guard motor. Well, possibly the most chosen commander in Company of Heroes 2 history, of course. Might finally be able to get that side of fuel as well. He's got a forward facing Maxim there, pushing away the uh, stern pioneers, allowing the conscripts to finally get fuel. Sound of truck from Sully. I made a racket on him. Instead. OKW does have a notoriously hard time dealing with uh, especially Maxims or NEMGs. They have a really hard time killing Maxims. They really have. Momo's gonna have to get a bit more aggressive. Loveness gonna have to start getting his synergy 
going and uh, they've got a battle out very much similar to that game we watched earlier but uh, stakes are very high in this one this is game one this sets the tone of the series and it's such an important that, game for the vps already five oh. minutes in 350 vps this is going really 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 badly look at that as well momo for shows uh rear echelon oh, dying no. oh they oh, might be getting stir. one back that's though stir. that's a dead stir that could be oh. oh that's gonna live uh, neutral cover yeah. all the way as well maybe if the right one have jumped out Possibly. could get the mortar Nice. Nothing's happening. Oh, they got the mortar, so there's their RNG. Just a little bit too late and not worth it, quite frankly. Have an early ambulance. Uh, so, might put this on the forward room for stuff. Stark's got his flak out. Flak yeah, the right. flak's out now. No AT at all. No AT at all, not even slightly. I mean, voting for guards by the look of it. The only AT they've got. Oh, are you ready he for has this, Sid? Up an He's queued up an AT gun. Okay, but at the moment, the only AT they've got is one Vet One Rifleman. Yes. <laughs> uh, single rifle. He's <laughs> probably going to look like our trick anytime soon. We've got a move it knucklehead, kind of Maxim trying to get into the house here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost not letting him in. That synergy's really not helping. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, rift start. So they're 200 VPs down, six and a half in this game. Nice. They're in the start. They've no not been great. To... But this sets up an exciting series because, of course, on paper, people would argue mm. that moment yeah, Loveness yeah. should be Definitely. stronger. But it's always exciting when the team. underdogs. I think what could really start snowballing this game is if Sully just gets a stupid now. Oh, could you imagine? This is a really static for allies we're going on. And so there's some underutilized aspects of the game, not not in 2v2 of course, but uh, just in the game in general. When you're winning, sometimes rocket artillery is the way to go because you, your yeah. opponent's in a condensed pocket of resistance and you mm. can just smash that pocket like uh, the Warsaw yeah. uprising. I mean, as soon as they hear the Stuka barrage, Lubnest is going to pack up all his energies. So you just have a giant opening to push in with all your stuff. Shoe mines the rescue here. Only killing one, no yeah. suppression, one model down. So it looks like they are starting to push out and uh, cut out now. They really need to get on VPs. They have to focus VPs so hard now this game. Really it, I mean, because it, it, it's faction pick as well. I mean, if they lose this game with to 500 VPs, that'd be hard. Well, oh, that would be that would be devastating, and that's also a huge uh, morale. Uh, inflictor to lose to 500 VPs is seen as a big sign of uh, defeat. You know, mm. so it's not not pleasurable. Lubness is really bunkered down on south now, though. I think Stuka would be really good here. I mean, for sure, he's just getting his AA half track out now. So... Hey, man, it's a bit late, but it's still gonna be useful. There's only one rack and out, so there's no uh, insta snipe potential. Stern Pioneer's just now getting suppressed then, but nearly caused all kinds of problems. I mean, this this is this will always happen with a double OKW start, because they'll get ahead. But, I mean, they got really ahead. So... I think all the impetus is on the OKW right now, to push this guy up. Is on a lot of OK. It is, as, I said, as Sid rightly mentions, the emphasis is on the OKW right now because they need to keep this momentum up. They've had a wonderful start against two very fearsome opponents. The last thing you want to do, Sid, is let those set opponents back into the game. What they really don't want to happen, which is already starting to happen, is uh, just too many MGs on the map for them to push anywhere. There's already three MGs and an AA hard track out. Ah, uh, but uh, Sid, the first thing Sully is getting from his mechanized is the Stuka Sufus. That's a really good decision. He's read the game really well. He's read the Sidolio manual there. He's going to punish his uh, allied opponents as a result. Playing around the A half track. A 120mm out. I despise that unit. Ah, the nuclear bomb cannon, you mean? It is, uh, 
incredibly well balanced and uh, fortuitous unit. I'm curious, yeah. will it do anything or will it do everything? It's the first shot I'll leave. Finally, uh, Lovnest is now taking the switch point to the south. Rifleman getting suppressed from Momo there. Trying to push out, trying to reclaim the central victory point. Here comes the stick of Safusa's first barrage, smashing down on the centre here. The 120 and 50 pound. Oh, oh, devastating. A Ooh. lot of models on weapons, but no better, single yeah. squad. Boss is the 120 straight back. It's halfway to that one. One thing about getting a Stuka early on this map is it's pretty much impossible to ever actually kill the Stuka because it can just retreat into base. The unkillable Stuka situation. Let's keep an eye on this Stuka. First shot, by the way, first barrage rather. Seven kills, not bad. And if it keeps that rate up, it what, barrages every minute and a half I think? Yeah, it looks likely to yeah, be it nice. Looks like Continuous VP pressure being put down by the OKW. The capping in the centre, the capping in the south. Sully has his eyes on winning this G1. Good smoke usage. It's going to be really important with oh. the block EW. First start to just keep firing up smoke on his. Lovness just lost his guard squad to continuous half track fire there, Sedolia. What was he thinking? Uh. I don't know what it was. Oh, and I, I can see the picture though. He was trying to attack ground with the combat engineers down here and get rid of that photo screen. Uh, he looked away, looked back, and the uh, guard squad was no more. Yeah, having played by Stack and Silly quite a lot, VP control is something I really good at. I wouldn't be surprised to see Stack go fortifications because they really like building bunkers. Black Ops has got nine kills with many high priority guard squad members amongst them. This smoke use is just great though. The MG and the A have track are having a hard time actually hitting anything right now. Ah, completely missed that uh, stick as a foo shot. But, uh, I got zero kills. Zero kills, so I think it doesn't he... matter. I think he cancelled it and only like two of the things came out. Yeah, I really don't understand what happened there because <laughs> I was panning my camera like crazy because what I try and do, if you must know, is echolocate where they're going to hit, so, like, you know, like YouTube headphones. Yeah. And uh, I'm sometimes right, and I was really shocked to find only one shot fell down from this guy there. Back on a triple cap again. They're already down to 200 VPs. Ooh, Maxim went out the wrong side of the house there. Could lose his life as a result. Ooh. That's a horrible issue. It really was. Okay. Hey, half tracks the wrong way around. <laughs> that unit paths horribly. <laughs> I think Momo and Lovest having uh, a bit of micro issues in this game. A bit uh, yeah. rusty. First game of the day. First game of the day. Well, it will be maybe. for Momo maybe because he woke he woke up yeah. today and the tournament's at half past ten PST yeah. and you know. Rockin is gonna get a hit on the half track. Good kill it actually. I think that's a dip after. Oh nice! Through the yeah, smoke. That's a dip after. Sully with a great kill there. Stern Pioneers come up, up and take the southern cut off. Here comes this the feel a lot like first game jitters with some of the uh, losses by loving on this game. The I mean, foul <laughs> that foul drop was so sneaky. He just dropped the foul onto the fuel point, held fire instantly. <laughs> oh, the Maxim has to get out. <laughs> That's great! I've never actually seen that. That's awesome. Sully the showing second us. second it landed, the other one Mind games there, love it. Just to note, Sid, if, if um, when you're calling something out on camera, if you could just say South Fuel, like, you know, if it's like a 2v2? Yeah, yeah. Cheers, man. But, uh, but great great so far. It's awesome having your analysis today. Sid, somebody that's actually a top 10 2v2 player is uh, casting with us today. It's always good to have that uh, interesting feedback. Oh, God. Stuka Zafus. Oh, huge barrage. Ah! No, oh, right on them. Oh, so close. Oh. So that's two duds in a row now. 
Ah, uh, but I suppose it moved him away from the fuel, I yeah, guess. Fast as we could, so. Blah, blah, blah. But the Maxim's there to take it, so actually a problem. If you look at that 120 near the, uh, the south cutoff, it's so clumpy right now. If he browses that with the league, it can die in one hit. So let's have a look at. Blackout Dog's getting really aggressive. Look at that flak off at 13 kills, but the bigger picture is just how far it is up on the map right now. Yeah. Great game sense by Sonya Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They played this really well. They're about to get the triple cap going again. Their attention to VPs is really good. All round 10 out of 10 yeah, game by Sonya Star. Stark is just. On it with these smokes, constantly smoking. The AT guns never getting a shot off, the MGs aren't able to suppress. There's just smoke everywhere. Fake Nation Stark here, 420 Blazer all over the city. The and USF mod is on 14 kills as well. What? That's not good. That's not good at all. Rangers is getting pinned on the multi P. To see. Losing my fuel again, triple capped again. Already done to almost 100 VPs. Wow. Pretty much uh, a game as horribilis right here. And they're just trying to battle out of their base. It's almost like the first few minutes in the game once more. So yeah. I just weren't able to get on the map for any consistent amount of time. Love Nest at the moment, of course, our IRL friends. Great players in their own right. Love Nest, of course, could, could about around this time last year, well, July last year, be called the greatest player in the world at that point in time. Momo's always been a great analyst and a great player. So imagine them to come back very quickly in this series. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Just about got the tail end of that on camera there. We lost the 50 cal, we nearly lost the mortar. Stern Pioneer is going to finish off that Zis gun. Look at them running into fire here. It's Imperial Dane's wet okay, dream. You're going to have, uh, you're gonna have their mediums out soon, potentially as well. They're both signed to close into it. Nice, uh... assault. Nice and cheesy. Getting the 76 variant out, that's all he can hope for right now. Momo yeah, has... he's something out right now. Momo's waiting for General Pershing to save the day. One more CP, but they have 50 VPs and they're triple capped. Um, Alright, we've got the Rangers on a VP. The Rangers just now one. going for the southern VP to slow the bleed. Apply a tourniquet. There's a loose fitting tourniquet, they're going to continue to bleed until they possibly bleed out unless something big happens very shortly. There's just no unit they have that can really make a big swing. T-34 maybe. It's only the 76 uh, variant now. In this. Is One racket on all. There is a panther building. Oh. But this T-34 could do something right now. Well, it's got a, a limited window of opportunity to make a bit of a splash, possibly push yeah. away some units in the center. But if that Rakan retreats, there's a 0 AT on the map for probably a minute for the Panthers to do. Nuts giving it. Might lose the Rakan, that would be really bad with the Panther about to hit. Yeah, so there we go, we've got a yeah, small window uh, of opportunity, maybe. They are going to get triple Panthers again. They can't oh. get that mid one decapped. They lost the South VP whilst that was going on, so it does still look likely they're about to drop this first game of the series. On a really high VP count as well, which is really bad. Because you want faction selection, especially if the map is crossing at us. Airborne assault the, the ultimate disgrace. is not capping the central victory point because they have the south, they have the north, so they're not even that bothered anymore. Here comes the Panther, going straight into the eastern sector there just to stop that T-34 doing anything useful whatsoever. 
Martin Favor is down south rather, so first grenade is pushed away. Mm, that's GG. Oh, GG. That's really surprising. I did not think it would go that badly for uh, Move Nest and Momo. Well, there they you go. They couldn't recover from that bad start. Couldn't recover at all, and um, it was it was an incredible game, though. you got to say, Sid, just from a pure, like, a nerdy, yeah. tactical, I love coming to Heroes, I love seeing it played well kind of standpoint. Sully and Stark, Stark smashed it. That, like, perfectly. Like, Stark was just putting down smoke anytime he saw any suppression platform, which is kind of the thing that hard counters is OKW right now. Uh... Black off track play was really good. He got 19 kills. Played the cutoff really well. Yeah, they just couldn't get back. It's like the first kind of two, three minutes when you lose a building and it's all kind of downhill, especially versus OKW. The Stuka was a really good choice. Got 17 kills. Yeah, really good build decisions. And they played the early game spot on, Stark and Sully. We go over to the uh, battle planner, as you can see. That's a 466 victory for um, Stark and Sully there. And uh, we're now awaiting Love Nest and uh, Uncle Mo um, to choose uh, their, their factions because they're now as Axis and they've got some tough questions to ask of themselves. Because it, although it is, there you go, they, they've gone for the, uh, the double combo. So we've got mixed factions for this next game, Sid. Okay. So you've got Sully and Stark as uh, USF and Brits versus Love Nest. Oh, that's really interesting. So no best. Soviet. That's no. uh, a rare sight. Indeed, a rare sight indeed. And uh, Love Nest and Momo has mixed uh, Axis. Which yes, we'll see some Austin. Finally. Finally, exactly. Um, people saying Alst again, Blavik Dream. Uh, it is it is indeed Alst again. The games yeah. one and two will be played on the same map, and then we'll have a new map, fresh map for game three. Uh uh, Tas Tatu asking for trois points. That's a great choice. I think that's actually going to be the grand final. The entire tournament will be played exclusively on uh, trois points, and we'll have a uh, best of 31, like World Championship snooker kind of final on that map. What do you think about that, Sid? Please no. Okay, so that's... just no. <laughs> you, just you, no. you say no, yet I hear yes. Uh, it, it's weird. I. I presume, I presume you meant yes. I might say, I would probably have... Over to the, uh, the wonderful camera. Sid has become even more dark and foreboding as the sun has set. He's now a pure Sith Lord. He's killed the younglings. And, uh, and, and, and we've gone full pelt there. Let me get you into yet another spectator lobby there, Sid. All right. 355 viewers today. Big thanks uh, for everybody for turning out. It's going to be an uh, intense series. It's going to be fun. It's going to be brutal. It's already been good, and uh, I'm only expecting it to get better from here. Yeah. I'm quite curious how Loveness and Momo respond now, because they just got stomped, like, to be completely fair. To be sure, to be sure. Interestingly, um... I really see that uh, Ultimate Team Tournament is going to be an excellent thing to keep our community vibrant and active. I think it's so cool to see teams going up against each other, Sid, because obviously you've got the teamwork and the camaraderie aspect. Um, and it's also a great builder for the huge 1v1 tournament we're going to have later in the year as well, because that'll be like kind of mano a mano 1v1 a little bit. It'll be different. It's just nice to have so much going on for such an old-ass game, Sid. I mean, this game is ancient. It was made before Tetris, for God's sake. It's like... Yeah, I don't even think the developers are around anymore, and it's crazy that we still keep it going. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty hype. Yeah, and Koti's finally coming out of beta soon as well, so... Yes! I know, right? It's so cool. It's going to have a full seat feature set as soon as we get our second round of dolphin and whale skins. <laughs> <laughs> we can finally, finally call the game released. Um, looking forward to that. A lot of homoerotic erotic comments um, yep. about you, Sid. I mean, oops, uncomfortable but... as ever. <laughs> Making Sid incredibly uncomfortable. Thank you for that. Very, very good. So yeah, I mean, we're we're excited for this. We're excited for this next game, of course, and I'm sure it's probably live now. It is indeed live. We've got one minute till go. Let's load it that bad boy up. I am 
Jealous Black Dream, thank you for uh, seeing, seeing my uh, subtones there. <laughs> so I've gotten older, and, you know, I've got grey hairs now. Nobody cares about AE anymore. It's all this new guy, and it's like, you know, fair, yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Talking about alpha, by the way, we've got the alpha testers or whatever, the beta testers uh, nameplates on Sully and Stark, so they're old ass Co2 players. They've been around for a long time. Yeah, that's the Brit one though, isn't it? It's oh, like it? the shitty, shitty alpha. Oh, one. sorry, that's yeah, gross. That's I got that one, one for doing like hardcore beta testing back in the day. This is rubbish. Shouldn't get it for that. For bringing yeah, Brits get... on the world. <laughs> we were the hardcore beta testers. We stopped them making OKW into Brits. They wanted to make them into Co1 Brits, right? So we were, like, we were like, we're not going to let that happen, Quinn. You're a, you bastard. I mean, like, I, I went to Canada to mud wrestle Quinn Duffy, and, and we had it out, and if I won, uh, I, I was, like, the champion for the beta testers. They wouldn't make OKW into, like, uh, trucks on resource points. No based placements. Fashion. Exactly, right? Well, I actually did kind of fail, because they do put their uh, giant tier 4 structure on the map, so... Yeah, but at the time, the only way they could get resources is if they were on, oh, a, 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 a re, like, a resource point, right? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was great. I don't, I don't, I don't want to know any more erotic <laughs> imaginations. <laughs> and, and that's the end for today on... AE's big book of relic horror stories. <laughs> Next week, children. <laughs> right, we've got... I think we're, we're ready to go live, actually. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, looks like it. I really wanted a coffee. Oh, man. Yeah. I love coffee. I'll have one after this game, but I'm going to get a quick drink of water. Sid, entertain the fans. Uh...